Hello my alien students, welcome back. So what are we going to learn today? Today we are going to learn something very very important, okay? That is an important thing in real life, okay? In the sense why we are using Revit, okay? We have been using Revit for some time, isn't it? We have a 3D project, one minute, just a second. Yeah, we are using, we are, you know, what way are we using Revit? Isn't it? Revit is a software which helps us to do 3D modeling also, isn't it? And there is something more beneficial then just the 3d modeling okay for example we've done the plumbing work if you want i'll do this project again with you all okay so what is the aim for today's project we go i'm going to teach you something called as interference check okay this is one thing which is very very useful isn't it that's one of the main reasons we are using uh, what is this rivet isn't it hmm? isn't it what do you say okay this is the 3d model isn't it okay if you want i'll teach how to do this complete project okay so my question is how do we do interface check okay let's say we are in the system tab or whichever tab we are isn't it we've done the model actually you generally don't do interface check end of the model you keep doing it like you know interface isn't it interference check not interface interference check isn't it okay so how do we do that okay so first thing is go to the collaborate tab okay then go to interface and then run interface check okay and then you like you know you can do let's say you want to find an interference between the ducts and what pipings okay let's say like this isn't it and then what you say okay Revit will tell you you don't have any interference detected why you say John Alien is not, so you don't get interference. Okay, this is good. Okay, I'm just going to show you one case. We might be having problems maybe with, well, let's say, electrical and plumbing. Let's say, yeah, let's take another example. Let's interference check between, because we have duct, no? uh, let's say, electrical fixtures. That's the lighting fixture. Let's say lighting fixture. Generally, we have problems here. Let's say lighting device. Yeah, lighting devices. And let's say duct. Let's say here, let's select everything generally you would have a clash between let me just close this let's go to just a second lighting isn't it let's say ceiling generally you would have clash here because you know you have this guy is taking the whole let's say isn't it ceiling one grid he's taking so generally you would have clashes there okay because when we drew it we drew it like you know blindly we didn't even do anything we just kept drawing it isn't it so my question is how do we find interference check okay so the same story goes go to here run interference uh, check beautiful uh, let's say we said lighting devices now and generally we would have it with let's say a duct accessory let's say a duct and we have any duct accessories let's say a duct let's say everything don't matter isn't it beautiful okay let's take another interface check air terminals ah i was talking about yeah let's say let's say all tick with tick isn't it apple to apple okay just a second okay sorry okay and then you would see there will be some clashes generally there will be clashes okay Okay, see, lighting, he said there's a, a clash between, like if you can't know, John, where is it, see, there is one player, most probably it is here, but there's a touch, let's show it in a 3D view, see, okay, just a second, you get the picture, see, this is a rivet, this rivet helps you find interference, just a second, close this, so isn't it, see, you can see it, just a small touch, if you can't see it, isn't it? I hope this is clear, isn't it? And then what we can do is, if you can't see this, you just let's say hide an element just to see it, you know. Okay. So I told you, generally you will have clashes between, isn't it? Because when we are drawing the air, what this electrical uh, lighting fixtures, we didn't take care of that, isn't it? So what we can do is, either move this or move that, isn't it? We can move the electrical fixtures. Okay, so I just wanted to show you 
how to find interference isn't it so again how do we do it go to collaborate tab select what all you need here also all okay you can actually from there is two options yet one is current project and one from the link file you have two options okay and say okay and then you know you can let's say click one and then you know export this um, report okay and show it if imagine we did some change okay then you can say refresh if we have done the change we can say refresh okay okay anyway I hope everybody enjoyed this class on uh, what's interference check okay we see each other in the next class bye